Anyway, this session basically I want to divide this into two sessions. One is introducing the con concepts of data mining and reviewing the concepts of data mining and second session is basically big data analysis. So how many of you are comfortable with the term data mining? So most of you studied and your project is covered in data mining. So what, why it is suddenly uh, came busting like this? What is the need? Can you tell? Why everyone is talking about data mining everywhere we are talking about data mining and without completing data mining now we are entering into the concept of big data and big data analysis like that. How, how many of you heard about the term big data and what anyone can you tell what it is some crude definition. Let us be open no need to worry and whatever thing you are feeling comfortable you can talk. So what is big data? If I increase my size of the data into from font 25 to 35. Can you call this as big data? So we will just review all these concepts as fast as possible. Since you are all knowing about the concept of data mining, let us move as fast as possible in this domain. So uh, my agenda is what is data mining, uh, what is not data mining. If, when you talk about data mining, you should also talk about what is not data mining. Then only you will be clear between the difference between the two things. So my introduction. So this is the thing we are using for the past 40 to more than 40 years, developing applications in all our real life, real world life. If I go to a railway station, I am booking a ticket. Or if I, from my own home computer, I am paying my fees. All these are possible because of the growth of the database management system, isn't it? So database has grown into such an extent that there is no field that you can say that I cannot apply computer. Wherever I apply computer, the automatically there exists some database which will help me to store the information. So there are database being created for any application system where there are two different types of users. One is the front end users who are going to use the system and one more type of user who are going to develop the system. And there is a database administrator sitting at the center coordinating all the activities. This is the normal thing happening when you talk about database management system. So at the end of the day, we are having our database. This database started growing like anything, isn't it? So if I, if I use 20 years, 30 years of a banking system, then the database size will be in terabytes or zettabytes like that. That is the size we are coming now coming into existence and we have to manipulate this. So now what about the drawback of this system? Is it not satisfactory to go for one more terminology data mining? Do you think like that? It is not so. It is another part of this database that we want to utilize, use for our business. So any growth, any scientific growth is possible because of the need. Need is the source for every development or invention. So here, we have developed a database and developed database systems that these systems got so much of data that are accumulated in our real life data databases. Is there any purpose for which we can use this database? See, assume that I have booked a flight ticket from Chennai to Trichy, sorry, to Chennai to Ahmedabad in Indigo Airline. So for, for traveling from Chennai to Ahmedabad. Now the schedule is on 5th April. Now, today, what is the use of this data that is stored in our databases? Is there any purpose? My passenger information will be stored in the Indigo database for my travel yesterday. But today, this data becomes what? It is outdated data or historical data. The data has served its purpose and so it is not at all needed. Why can't we discard it? Are we discarding them? If you see the Indigo server, they will be stored. And when we talk about storage, there is a cost involved in that. What is that cost? Storage cost. Every byte you are storing, every bit you are storing involves some storage cost. You have to, uh, but we are not bothered nowadays because of the cost of these storage devices becomes very, very less. I can get a one terabyte for 500 rupees, uh, sorry, 5000 rupees maximum or even two terabytes are possible. So if this is the case, the storage cost is not at all bothering us. We can store anything, any amount of, if, even if you see in our def computers or in your phones, we are collecting so much of data, we are not deleting them. We are there, uh, since we are having so much of space, we are not bothered. Only sometime when we are not having enough space, we try to delete. Otherwise, they are occupying. So if this much of data being stored without any purpose, is there any usage of my information to Indigo? Today, yesterday it may be needed for getting my boarding pass or other information, but today it is waste. 
but even though it is not required they are storing what is the purpose can you tell any one application where this data is needed we are not going to use only if there is some crash or something or something they want to verify again they may go roll back and see it otherwise it is not so similarly banking system or railway system every system the online data becomes historical data are you able to understand so when it is required for this today's transaction it is online data when it is not required and already it has served its purpose it becomes historical data now what to do with this historical data what i am going to gain from this historical data can we do something this is required because of some people is to be analyzed is to be studied do, uh, can you anyone tell what is the source for this data mining who is the source is it company business people or is it scientist or is it some industries or we the people who is the reason behind this can you tell all this data mining is because of we customers how to attract the, the customers so that i can increase my business this is the goal of any data mining how i can attract my customer so that he will be into show, showing some interest to buy my product so that i will get profit this is the motto so if you see the company's motto it is like this i may be asked to enter into the company as a visitor and i may be forced to buy something some product i may be in such a way that it is more attractive it is more cost cost reduction like that so i become a customer i enter the company as a visitor but after entering i become a customer and if i start buying again and again same product i become a loyal customer who is going to give more profit to company this loyal customers so the company's goal is always making the people to be a loyal customer so to make them as a loyal customer we should know the behavior which attracts him which he interests him so we want to know the behavior of the customer how to study the behavior if you are given a questionnaire in, on entering in the company or entering some shopping mall most will not fill or even if you fill you will fill without seeing that the contents that will not give proper information sometimes they will send people to every house and ask for some feedback giving a sample that is another method but there also they may or may not give the proper value the purchases you have made already the transactions you have completed that will show you what you are what is you what is the products you are interested in how you can be impressed all these things so where to get this transaction details all are available in our computer as historical data so the business people wants to analyze this type of historical data to know the behavior of myself or to know the behavior of customer so that they can make them as a loyal customer this is the goal of data mining are you able to understand clear anything you are not able to follow you can ask or interrupt me any time so this is the normal system now how much of growth this systems have made so far if you see up to 2011 from the beginning of using computer for storing the information we have stored only 5 billion gigabytes but the same amount of data we have generated within 2 days in 2011 and in 2013 within 10 minutes we are generating and now it is maybe within seconds it may be so the, the thing you should remember here is it is it is stored in our database huge volume how to as i said we need to analyze this data some method should be applied so that we can analyze the data and understand customers behavior but what sort of techniques we can apply what part of methods we have to do that only we are going to discuss in this data map. so need for analysis of data volume of data is there variety of data variety when we talk about variety in your paper also you have studied numeric data string data ordinal data nominal data so many different types of data so variety of data is there data is historical they have served its purpose i have traveled my data is stored it is becomes historical this data historical data represents the state of the organization or this gives us the more information about the company the people who are involved in the company's business everything is stored here so use of this historical information for predicting future is the goal of data mining okay i am having old data do some analysis predict future and plan for the next course of action because any business involves decision making 
what do you mean by decision making how many cars i have to manufacture in the next week which product is going to be moving faster in the next month so this knowledge is needed for a decision maker or top level people so this is possible only by data mining so we want to predict future and the job is not so easy it is like searching for a needle in a haystack is it you may get the needle or you may come out empty handed that is possible so searching is not so simple you have to properly apply the techniques then only you can get that that so human analysis why can't we do because already so many managers are there business managers top level people they are also making decision can't we use them for making decision their knowledge is limited you cannot process 1 million record of 100 attributes is it manually possible even if you are given two columns name and phone number search for your phone number or name means it is very difficult to search from 1000 phone numbers so millions of records 100 attributes is very difficult there are other methods statistical methods already we are using why can't we use statistic method what is the problem with statistics if you talk about statistics you will formulate a hypothesis you will validate the hypothesis or ignore the hypothesis testing the hypothesis that is the statistical technique but testing or statistical methods are applicable only if the size is smaller so only if you see during election time what people are doing they are take samp they are taking samples they are not taking the entire population for predicting the future they are taking only samples if the sample is good your prediction will be good if the sample is wrong your prediction is also good so statistics applicable only when the size is smaller when the size is more it is going to be a problem so these are the pages you may vis frequently visit google what for you are using google there is no one single day you can say without uh, typing this word google or uh, amazon or any shopping uh, flipkart or what other things everything we are doing shopping and everything through net only nowadays what is the result if i type a keyword for example wikipedia i am getting so many links okay web links are there but which is coming as first wikipedia.org how google knows that this is the home page which we are searching and whenever the word wikipedia is typed this page should be coming as the first page there are so many pages if you see there may be thousands of 242 million pages are there but among this wikipedia is coming as first one how is this possible can you tell how this is happening metadata metadata okay metadata is there searching through the metadata is it practically online or if i assume that i am giving an unknown keyword immediately it is showing me the home page of that keyword how is it possible there is a indexing being performed by the google server where page rank you can talk about page rank or counting so many methods are there but page rank alone will give always good result it is also some random value you are assigning weight you are assigning for every page you are computing so how do we know that this is the home page so some methodology some analysis of the pages website should be made well in advance only then you can give the result when after you typing the keyword if it starts searching you will get to a result only after two days because net is so voluminous so uh, enormous value so such, there is un, one more thing these pages are coming as link one two three how google is selecting this is the 10 top most pages that are to be displayed when you type this keyword there it is not directly it is not just indexing file is indexed you give the keyword it, it has to pick up it is not happening so there are some pre manipulation going on some analysis going on with this all the websites and it is ranking them as you told page rank method or so many methods they are not only page rank counting method that are possible but there is a, some analysis being carried out with all the websites available in the net this is another one amazon normally we will go for buying books now they started selling all india is the huge market where you can sell any product so they everybody is bombarding our doors to sell all the products all the wastages are coming and entering into our country so this website if you open it is giving me i am searching for data for business intelligence it is giving me the book author what is the price and other things this is not but there is another thing the abstract if you see here if you go to the it is also giving some additional information what it is frequently bought together along with this book which book is for bought purchased frequently or it is also recommending the person purchased this book also bought these items so how it is being gathered 
how they are giving this information many of you are doing recommendation system in some domain so this is one domain where recommendation first one is association rule mining if i buy this what product are associated buying together recommendation system which purchase will be clustering the items along with the current item so with this cluster you find the frequency and di display according so this is basically a data mining technique that are being applied and uh, used in real life and walmart how many of you know about this they are the retail giant in, not in india they are a trade to enter but uh, it is not happening so far so they are selling the products uh, see their uh, size of data if you see you can understand they are the retail giant they have to analyze around 7.5 terabytes of data so much of data generated every day and they want to do such analysis in such a manner that there should not be any department store at any place when the customer is asking for this product they should always give the product they should know which product is needed for this particular branch at what time of the day or what year day month of the year everything they want to predict so so much of thing analysis they are doing even the track buying trends shelf shelf by shelf they are doing the analysis which products are to be placed in the shelf also called as market basket analysis you might have studied more on that if i go enter into a departmental store what products i am going to buy together selling together that sort of analysis so that what they will do they will place the items in such a manner that if you pick one item automatically you will be tempted to pick another item so everything is customer satisfaction customer attraction that is the goal that is the motto of this data mining market basket analysis is the one which they are doing one sim simple real life example i will give if you see in the month of november december there will be lot of discounts being given to some items can you tell which item november december from october november that have seen car company advertisements more companies will be advertising insurance free petrol free and uh, fully loaded all these things at a subsidized rate of 50000 1 lakh like that what is the reason behind this why they are giving discount only during this month why can't they give in the month of april or march also you can see that may be financial year end but november and december is not end of year what is the end of financial year what is the reason anyone how many of you know driving the car no driving so what do you mean by model of the car can you tell there is one term if i buy a car in the year 2005 now immediately if i want to sell it the purchaser the person who wants to buy will say what is the model of the car model of the car is year in which you have purchased it so this is very important when you resell the car that model will be going to fix the price if it is older like that so if i buy a car in the month of january 2014 or december 2014 what is the e model it is only model 2014 and if i enter into january 1 2015 the car is one year old so most of the people won't buy car during this month november and december but if people are not buying they are their sales will be affected so how to make them to buy the car give drastic reduction in sales this is the way in which they want to analyze our behavior and they want to predict future and they want to plan accordingly so this is the goal with which we are doing data so very large database this is the term nowadays we are not talking about databases of size 1 gb mb gb like that now we are talking about terabytes zettabytes etc so much of data are being generated and what is the goal of a producer a producer wants to know which are our lowest or highest which product is giving more margin to me high margin to me which who are my customers and what they products they are buying and what product promotion we have to make whether i have to promote my product through mail or online advertisement or tv or newspaper which marketing gives me, which advertisement gives me more uh, sales the all this analysis we want to do so now database also grown to a very large size we want to, we also want to analyze the data so that we want to predict future what how to do these operations so database management system if you see database approach we have already got some questions being answered by database system list of items that were sold in the last month i can put in a sql query immediately i can get the answer similarly in database i can post sql write sql query i can extract i can 
retrieve the data, isn't it? If I give this question, SQL query, what will happen? It will do some calculation, give me the result. It is already existing, in the, but in the data mining approach, you have to extract the answer. Which items are selling together? How to do this? Can we write an SQL query for this? Which items are selling together? There may be thousands of items. Which items are uh, two items, three items, four items? How to group them? That is very difficult. Similarly, how best to target customers to increase sales? How to attract the customers in the month of December so that more cars can be sold out? So these are all some data mining approach we, where we have to apply data mining. Now, what do you mean by KDD? Is it all right uh, or it is more repetition? What do you feel? So that I can rush up. Shall we go in this way? I won't talk about algorithms, association, clustering, etc. All those things you know. I will just introduce the concept. So KDD is technique for extracting knowledge. It is not retrieval of, idea, retrieval of data. It is extracting knowledge which is available in the databases, historical databases. And this technique that can be used for extraction is called as data mining. And it can also be called as knowledge, data archaeology, knowledge extraction. So many different names are given. So, what is going to be the next generation jobs that we have to think about in IT field? So, most sort jobs are going to be that involve able to mine the overwhelming amount of data. We need people who can mine data. We, you can study the historical data and this data now becomes in big data. Such a huge data we come across, it has become big data. People are needed for analyzing this. Protect system from security threats and manage the risk of, risk of growing complexity in new systems. Now we are hearing the term IoT. What do you mean by IoT? Everywhere we are talking about smart cities, 100 smart cities. How it is possible? Only based on IoT, Internet of Things. Everything, every device wants to communicate with other device. There will be sensors in my fridge which will be transmitting information what are the contents of my fridge or what is the temperature you have to maintain and if the temperature is high or low accordingly it should adjust. Similarly, if I am not in my house, all the lights should be off or some lights should be on, I have to remotely control. So everywhere we are going to place sensors and these sensors are going to communicate data to all the devices so that we are getting again huge amount of data. So the how to manage this data because of the growth of technology, how technology can be used for increasing productivity. So there is a terminology that is being evolved called as data scientist, someone who should be good at two fields, better at statistics than any other software engineer. He should be good at statistics and similarly he should good, be good at software engineering compared with any statistician. So this type of technique we require where we have, we want people to analyze the data to get knowing the concepts of software engineering. So what is data mining? It is the simplest definition available everywhere, semi-automatic extraction. So it is not retrieval, you should differentiate between retrieval and extraction. If I give my name and if I retrieve my phone number, it is data retrieval. From the database, it is collecting the information. Whereas, if I give a name and find similar characteristics person available in my database, then it is going to be data extraction. Checking for So, come back, consider this entire group. I want to divide this into two groups. It is easy. Whereas, if I want to divide this into four groups, how is it possible? Then I find the characteristics, attributes of every individual. What is your age? What is your height? What is your qualification? Other parameters based on who are all similar to you. You make them closer. So group one group with this age, with this height, with this group, with this sex, I can form. Whereas, so four groups I have to form. So like that, we want to semi-automatic. Why I am telling is semi-automatic. It is not automatic. I have to identify which attributes can be used for grouping the items. So this selection can be manual. Then it is called as semi -automatic. I need manual intervention to do this process. So only it is called as semi automatic extraction. So that the data should be valid. I am extracting some knowledge. The knowledge should be valid knowledge or acceptable knowledge. So valid, the knowledge I am extracting should be valid knowledge. Valid in the sense it should be applicable to new data. I have built a model that will predict this patient is having particular disease or not. 
if a new patient is coming this model should say that patient is having the disease or not so it should be applicable valid for new data then only it is correct and novel it is not obvious it should be generated it should be extracted by applying some algorithm and it is useful for my future and also understandable so these are all the characteristics of it. so if you see this is not new process how many of you know about expert system what do you mean by expert system we want to expert system for di diagnosing diseases or expert system for mining operation so many expert system what do you mean by that there is a scientist or expert available who will be consulted for deciding some decision. So you are visiting a doctor to diagnose what type of disease you are having. If you are, there is no human intervention, if you are going to a machine giving its various symptoms, if it can predict what the disease you are having, that is going to be called as expert system. So we need experts to feed the knowledge base, which will be used for building a decision support system. And when a new data is being coming, it should be able to predict whether the patient is having disease or this patient is having these features or not. So this is the concept of expert system, which is existing so, so longer time. But it, uh, artificial intelligence, it has grown to such extent, but suddenly it has been stopped. But the algorithms, the methodologies, the concepts we have evolved in artificial intelligence and expert system, if you apply these concepts to databases, then there comes the concept of data mining. So data mining is not new term. Our old machine learning techniques that are being generated in artificial intelligence are applied over databases and we got the term data mining. So we want to remove the expert, use our historical data to construct our knowledge base and de de build a decision support system which can be applied to new data and you are having a data mining tech. So this model construction there only we are using the data mining techniques. So data mining is not brute, what it is not I have told. It is not a brute force method. It is not finding relation. It is not presenting data in different way. It is basically analyzing and extracting knowledge. It is not a difficult technology because it is only evolution of or convolence of all the techniques that are being generated already. So I don't want to explain this process. Everybody knows this from the database. We are doing some pre-processing, that is cleaning, clustering, integrating and transforming we are doing. Once the, this process is over, you apply data mining, you are getting patents, you evaluate the patents, you get knowledge. If you apply the knowledge, you will be doing the for your problem, you are doing this. So it is a convolution of machine learning, visualization, statistics, all these techniques. So again the same thing. And techniques. Anybody wants to discuss about a particular topic, you can tell me, I will explain, otherwise I will move faster because my idea is go to big data and discuss something on that. So we are having predictive modeling, segmentation, summarization, frequent pattern mining, all these methodologies you know. There are so many techniques also in these. You can have nave based classifier or Bayesian classifier or decision tree classifier or J48 classifier, so many things are available. So there are so many techniques available which has grown and as a um, research student or PG level student, you should be able to apply these techniques in your real life problems. So classification. So what is the difference between classification and clustering? Crude difference. Can you tell? What do you mean by classification? What is what do you mean by clustering? What is the difference between the two? Simple difference. Then classification is supervised and unsupervised. As I said. Uh, I am I give gave four as the number of clusters here. I have given only four. So how to formulate clusters? That is going to be previous learning. Classification is building a model for patient diagnosis, expert system. That is going to be so whether the patient is having disease or not. I build a model. I apply the model for new. When I apply the model for new data set, that becomes prediction. So these terminologies you have and association rule mining. That is the most popular mining technique which is more realistic, more applicable. When you go enter into a departmental store, if you buy a toothpaste, what is the probability that you will also buy a toothbrush? So if the probability is more, what the uh, store person will do is, they will put these items together. If you see arrangement in the shelf in shopping malls, department stores, you can see more relevant items are put together. That is, if you start applying these mining techniques, association. If I buy this product, what is the probability that I will also buy another product? That is the idea of association rule mining. So this is outlier. This is also one important term. 
out layer what do you mean by out layer i want to predict four groups here you are grouping them based on some characteristic one person is there who is not fitting in any group i cannot find his age matching with others i cannot find his height matching with others i cannot find his what other characteristic educational qualification not matching with others then what to do that person is standing aloof so this person is going to be called as outliers this is going to be helping me to do lot of fraudulent activities basically in a bank every customer is behaving properly every he is repaying the loan or paying the money properly some odd customer so if this customer is coming how to identify him how to do a transaction with him that is going to be called as outlier analysis so applications simply if you want to say what the where you can apply wherever you are collecting data using computer storing data in your computer you can apply data mining what are the research issues this 10 points you what are the 10 challenging issues is there any unifying theory of data mining can i have a sql or can i write in a data mining query language that will do prediction or classification or clustering everything is possible if you see clustering algorithm cannot be applied to classification process or classification algorithm cannot be applied to association so there is no unifying theory you have to do separately individually if depending upon the database depending upon the algorithm depending upon the technique you have to design your process so you is there any unifying model in which i can apply anything any class algorithm any technique that is not existing that is a challenging issue and high dimensional i can do analysis for five attributes 10 attributes if thousands of attributes are there how to do that dimensionality when dimensionality is more how i am going to do mining sequence data data streaming there are some projects i have seen where they are using data streams so using doing mining in data stream is going to be very very difficult task how to what is the time you have to consider for fixing the with how many intervals of data you have to collect if the data streaming is uniform it may be easy assume that one second 100 bytes of data is coming so i can consider 100 bytes of data as a record in one second sometimes 100 bytes coming sometimes 10 bytes coming then it is going to be a difficult task and data mining network distributed data mining data mining for biological genes prediction uh, chromosome identification so there are a lot of issues going on security how to identify this uh, ip address or th this type of attack is coming so spoofing attack or devos denial of service so many attacks are there how to recognize the attacks how to identify the attack that is also there also you can apply dealing with non static unbalanced cost sensitive attack so these are all major challenges where so many research are going on and you can fix your own project in any one of this if you are doing in data mining so that doing data mining research i want to convey this to all you have, you have i have seen some presentation today based on that which i want to give observation that is you have identified the problem that is not there is no problem no uh, issue in that the problem is clearly stated you have identified but you have also solved something but presentation analysis and results giving me the result is not so satisfactory that is when you take a problem you identify a research gap what is missing what is lagging in the problem uh, that is being solved by some other researchers already the problem is solved by some researchers they have stated that i have used this data set this algorithm this methodology i have adopted even after this i got some issues so you focus on those issues identify the issues then is there any solution given by any author already if no solution can i apply a new uh, other algorithms or I can, can i apply some new method to this so that it can be solved so you do some experimentation implement the algorithm your own algorithm or existing algorithm combining two or more algorithms you do the implementation and get the result getting result alone is not enough what you have to do is you have to analyze analyze in the sense you compare your result with the existing result you compare your result with uh, improve performance metrics so that you can show that your result is good so these are the 10 challenging issues that are existing in data mining technique so how many of you as i asked earlier define big data can we define big data what it is 
so if my database could not handle it then it can then it is big, it becomes big data isn't it if my database could not handle it why it could not handle yeah. see in lotus sorry it's not lotus excel what is the maximum number of records you can upload have you ever tried that have you download some 10000 records if you try to copy into excel sheet how long it will take have you tried that or 1 mb of records into so it it could handle but there is a limitation if it goes beyond that what to do the data size grows so please don't be so there comes the concept of big data we will discuss review this what is the maximum file size you have dealt these are all simple questions minimum file size can you tell what is the minimum file size you have handled one smiley if you send you in your whatsapp that itself is a data isn't it some smiley picture you are sending for uh, so so many whatsapp communication you are doing that is minimum amount maximum size i am talking about so movies files or if it is uh, a program file what will be the size of the program file maybe in kbs kilobytes whereas if you talk about some songs audio songs it may be in mbs if it is movie it is also 700 mb but if you increase your size 1 gb 2 gb or 12 gb means your clarity will be more so size 12 gb so this is the file size we are regularly handling so what you have observed if i try to copy a file audio file one move one song how long it takes have you ever noticed i want to copy one file nowadays bluetooth you are sending a file uh, song to another person how long it takes maybe one second or two seconds if i transmit a movie file from one hard disk to your uh, pen drive how long it takes some minutes it is taking so there is a difference why it is even though we are having devices to store this transmitting them is going to be an issue what is the download speed you are getting everybody is having you can always see circle in our screen it is downloading downloading that's all or uploading so that is the limitation of our bandwidth it is not more than so it 100 mbps it may be but it may be working in 10 kbps only that is a file uploading or downloading we are getting so these are all some issues how much time it requires naturally when size grows time also it is growing sometimes we are downloading files movie files whole night it takes 12 hours 15 hours it is taking to download so because our size of memory grows from kilobytes to yottabytes 10 power 24 this much now we are in terabyte petabytes stage but uh, some within some do one or two years we may be using exabytes of files so this is the size of files that are being grown what is the reason why which drives this size science so all scientific instruments start communicating devices starts financial nowadays so many companies they are connected and they are branches all over the world and web mobile devices smartphones where we are transmitting the same message to our friends so we are sending and receiving everywhere this information are being stored in the service providers servers iot as i said internet of so everything generates data so science humanities business everywhere now the ex there is an explosion of co data quantity that are being generated so drive decreasing cost of these are the drivers cost of storing is not at all matter now previously when you have floppy disk you will try to delete the file as soon as you have completed your problem but now everything you are storing and cost effectiveness of data centers i need not store my data there is a cloud store freely i can store the data a google drive is available which is available where i can store instead of wasting my storage space i can use this free storage space cloud spaces and new frameworks hadoop how many of you heard this term hadoop that is the framework for hadoop file system is capable of handling this big data whatever be the size of your file it this file system can handle this and there is a programming part in this called as map reduce which can distribute the jobs to different de devices and accumulate the result by reducing so mapping reducing two things are going on by this framework i can do manipulate so here storing is not a problem and uh, because of this uh, less price and also the free driver free storage devices are available and map analyzing them is also not problem due to the growth of frameworks so in 60 seconds so much of data these are all slides taken from net only you can see this within 60 seconds 60 plus new blocks are being created within every 60 seconds so many blocks are created 
so many queries are post so many downloads are happening so these sort of things everything is being recorded that is the important thing whatever activity is happening here everything is being recorded they are store occupying some space in our devices so volume big, uh, growth is natural so traditional versus big data if your size is small now if your speed is rate of data generation and transmission velocity driving like a, in a car or driving in a plane or structured versus unstructured previously our all our data or database management system it may be relational model or network model now what type of data we are working with most unstructured your twitter contents what is the size of the twitter message how many characters 128 that is this 128 160 you tell so it is limited less than 200 is it all right i so whereas if it is in facebook what is the limitation is there any limitation you go on adding your information likes or photo or uh, some video file audio file there is no structure uniform structure in facebook or whatsapp messages so this is the most unstructured data so these are going to give the characteristics for the big data so what to do with this data what why we what to do we are collecting this data storing this data what to do if you can aggregate and do some statistical operation using data warehouses or you can indexing and searching using these search engines you can do but doing knowledge discovery also possible like applying data mining and statistical modeling but the problem is since volume is high velocity is more variety is also different types of data this applying this itself is an issue how you are going to do this activity with so much of growth in data that is going to be a problem so where you can use as you saw in data mining you can make decision you can prepare report or you can diagnose data is useful as the decision enabled support so this analysis is very important because we are going to do a lot of decision making process for that this analysis is very very important so data versus big data how to differentiate if the volume gets bigger our data generation rate is very fast from batch processing or real time processing we started and storage frequency has gone and also data structure diversification that is unstructured most unstructured data we are handling but additionally also some other features correctness of the data also you should check and inter relationship between the data also you should check these things constitute the characteristics for big data so this is simple everything is instrumented nowadays and every data is being captured because of this we want volume of data to be stored in our devices so as well, from the dawn of civilization whatever data is being generated every two days or that i have discussed all so how much of twitter message being transmitted per day 12 plus terabytes of data or 25 plus terabytes in google there is no limit what is the size of data they are being generated it is so high whereas devices this is playing major role nowadays sensors are there rfids are there rfid tags are being attached with the devices and also gps enabled devices are there all these devices are communicating with each other so only we are generating huge volume of data so big data is nothing but integration of all these things that is cloud computing or mobile devices or internet of things or social media everything are being integrated they are started communicating with this because of this we are generating huge volume of data which we are terming as big data okay so this so integration of big transaction data big interaction data that is social networks and social media and big data processing the development of technology to handle this integrating these things is going to be called as big data integration or big data analysis so big data is nothing but it is similar to smaller data with which requires different techniques tools and architecture so far no data no technique for big data we are having techniques but they are not effective efficient so we want to improve the effectiveness of the techniques tools and architectures so we want to solve the same old problems in a better way so problem is same we are having we want to analyze the data if you talk about data mining it may be in terabytes or megabytes but when you talk about uh, zeta bytes or petabytes then we have to find out new techniques new tools to handle this much of data so big data is a term to describe data that is high volume high velocity high variety requires new techniques and also used to enhance decision making same data mining only if the size grows from vldb very large database to huge databases then we are going to call it as big data analysis 
So 2010 and 2015, you can see the growth of data. So goal of, what is the goal of big data? Why we have to analyze the data? We have seen up to knowledge in data mining. So we want to better understand this knowledge and also reach a stage of wisdom where we are thorough with what is happening, what will happen, everything should be predictable. Then it is going to be called as big data analytics. So again here also there are some myths. If you have constructive data warehouse, is it a data, big data? Big data means you require data warehouse, that is not so. There is no connection between data warehouse and big data. What is a data warehouse? Is it a database? There are so many properties you might have studied. It is an integrated, what is, what are the properties of data warehouse? It is integrated from multiple sources and it is being built upon multi-dimensional model. Whereas database is relational data, two-dimensional data model, it is multi-dimensional model where data cube is the thing. Two tables, fact table at the center and surrounded by dimensional table may be star. This is grouping the data in a form in which we can easily understand. That is a basic idea. We want to group the data, combine the data, put together the data so that the data can be analyzed more effectively. Mostly it will be aggregated data in data warehouse. It won't be record wise, single record wise. It will be aggregated for a week or month like that we will create it. So big data mean is not going to be a warehouse and it is new. whenever you got unstructured data immediately you cannot claim that it is big data. It is not a new term, only the same terminology when the size grows, we are talking about this at the upper list. So based on this inference, we can define the characteristics of big data. This is the normal thing we are. Three points, volume, velocity and variety. When you talk about volume, we are moving from terabytes to zettabytes, the size increases. When you talk about variety, we are moving from structured to structured and unstructured, both that is going to be variety and when you talk about velocity, it is about moving from batch processing to streaming data, online, speed rate we are talking about, so online data, continuous streaming data we are, we are going to face. Volume, what do you mean by volume or scalability, scale, see our size is going to be increased from 2009 to 2020. 44 times that much of growth is going to be there in our data so from terabytes we are going to move to zettabytes that is the movement so as you can see the variation and when you talk about variety variety means complexity how to handle this complex so various formats various types and various structures so the data may be textual form numerical form images audio video anything can be there a single application can be generating many types of data in a single application. So previously I can write a program which will handle integers only or characters only. Now any type of data I have to write. What technique we are using? Nowadays we are reading the file as a stream only. We are not reading as a character or integer like that, isn't it? We are considering everything else. So to extract knowledge, all this state of data to be linked. I have to work with all types, combination of data, not single type of. And velocity, it is the speed at which the uh, thing is being generated. So because of growth in healthcare, online healthcare and also e-promotion, e-purchase, everything is going on. So the on online analysis is required, online data, data is generated very fastly and it has to be processed very fastly. So only three things, but we there are so many new V's are coming like veracity. How to believe the data? How to trust, uh, believe the trustworthiness of data? You can see a lot of messages being spread out in social network. Some message being spread out without knowing the real, how to believe the data, trustworthiness, uncertainty due to data inconsistency, incompleteness, and how you are going to believe the data, accept the data, data in doubt. So whether the data can be believable or unbelievable, that one shows the veracity. And there is one more term, value is also there. User can run certain queries and direct important results. So value of the data, I can do some operation over the data, then identify the value. That is computed data is going to be called as value. So these are all other V's, so many V's are coming. You can also add any number of V's depending upon the experience you are facing in this. So what do you mean by big data analytics? So, so what do you mean by data analytics? Three things are there. I am having a set of data which I am going to analyze to get insight into the data, to know the characteristic features of the data. Once I know the features, insights, I got the insight, then you decide and give the, uh, apply the result to your real life day to day problems that is going to be called as data analytics. So data analytics means 
you got crude data raw data or historical data you find try to find insight into that and make decision based on these insights so for example we want to optimize price what should be the price of the new item you are introducing going to introduce in the market so for this you would consider the data that is past sales past price levels which what is the price you have fixed for which type of item this and what is the sales of those items within this range so you have this data you predict sales level from what will what can be the sale uh, price of for this new item based upon other characteristic you predict the price and action is you fix the price in order to maximize so you have to decide this will this price if i fix my price as this x i will get maximum amount of profit so this is going to be called as data analytics now i can do this data analytics in all types of systems health care or multi channel or finance then it is going to be big called as big data analytics so if i try to find insights into the big data and apply that for my decision making then it is going to be big data analytics so you can apply in any domain so many domains are there so what are the tools used in big data this is this gives us the problems issues in big data this slide is so where is the processing hosted my data is not going to be stored in one place it is going to be in multiple places or in common cloud whether my i am going to store the data in distributed server or in cloud or in my home computer how i am going to store the data that there is a process and if i am storing in multiple places how to do processing that is one of the issue where the data is stored i can go for cloud storage or distributed storage where, what is the programming model which program i should have a model which can handle data at multiple places and do analysis where we are going for the concept of hadoop and map reduce and how data is stored and indexed for example google you have to index the websites regularly you have to update your index file of the google server so how frequently you are going to do what operations are performed on the data whether you want to do analytic processing or semantic processing this this slide will give you more on what type of things you have to do you require in your data so traditional approach you have to got an application server where data is being stored and you are analyzing program using some programs but in big data you have to analyze the programs not in the server but in the data node this is one important thing i cannot combine the data to a single place and do analysis like a data warehouse what i have to do is you send the small code portion of the or entire code to the data location do the process get the results that is going to be called as map reduce mapping is sending the code programming code to the data nodes do the processing get back the result and assemble that is called as reducing phase so this type of things you are so your data nodes may be in thousands of numbers where you will be sending the programming code and receiving the result this combination is called as mapping and reducing where there will be a server node which will monitor the progress of these nodes if one node data node fails another node should be capable of doing that job that should be monitored so these are all the some of the approach in big data so data transmission we need powerful transmission media like sonnet sdh etc your networking switching is also very much improved big data requires big networks this is a simple thing you and also compute network you have to go for push computing data to data so computing process should be moved to the data location so these are challenging questions what if data volume gets so large and varied and how to deal with the data all the data to be stored do we have to store all the data any pre processing can be carried out so that we can reduce the data size how to find out which data points are really important how can the data be used to best advantage so what is how the re results can be used so these are all some research areas improving data analytic technique again and again same thing like data mining improving the data mining techniques you are adding clustering algorithm modified clustering techniques you are applying same thing here possible how to get, uh, write uh, techniques to identify and analyze the big data and also natural because nowadays we are facing social networks communication is in the form of messages text how you so you need natural language processing techniques to do this and also 
conventional tools are not able to manage you need additional research to handle such data so this is the summary there is a exponential growth in data because of maturity and enhancement in technology we need massive cloud infrastructures to store the data and also we require lot of platforms to, and processing methods to handle the data and we want to have enhanced newer type of analytic requirements are needed and this results in big data and its analysis this is about big data any questions if you want you can ask so i have asked more questions to you people you can ask me with a lot of questions